there's a lot of evidence around this now. So the long and the short of it, by Burnett and Field is a kind of seminal piece of work, which which everybody knows, and has really helped the industry understand that this is going to have a big impact on future sales if if you build uh, build a brand. But but the most important and maybe clear. Um, uh, evidence that I've seen of this recently is some work from Nielsen's ROI database, which shows that a 1% increase in um, consideration or awareness leads to a 1% increase in future sales and a 1% decrease in customer acquisition costs. So really starting to show that um, this is a long-term investment um, rather than a cost. And I think this is really coming through from um, not only um, commentary uh, around this, but actually stock prices as well which is fascinating. Uh, so there's a, a really um, a good analyst called Ian Whitaker. I don't know yes, if you've seen I him. Do, yeah. he, I follow he, him on LinkedIn. Yeah, you see him on uh, a lot of media this conferences now. This is not investment now. advice. This is not investment advice, with, yeah. so on. Um, but his, uh, his presentations at a lot of these media conferences are, are fascinating. He, he's making an argument that really brand building advertising should be capitalized and put onto the balance sheet because it's so effective over a, a period of time. So treating advertising investment in a similar way that you would do to machinery or um, factories or things like that. You, know, you put that investment in and you put it back onto the P&L over time because it's so effective over a longer period of time and, and not that short period of time. 